So I'm just talking with Scott, we were going to try and organise a little recorder magic, but he's been kicked. Because <laughs> we are in 13W16A, the very first snapshot with the new launcher. Yeah, and it's having issues. And you know what this means, right? We don't have to go to the uh, Minecraft wiki to download snapshots anymore, because they'll just appear in the launcher. Mm-hmm. That does... it's supposed to make things easier. Yeah. But <laughs> Mackie just got kicked. Using a minecart as well. And yeah. Mari also got kicked for using a <laughs> minecart. <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> they can't get back in. The server might oh. need to be restarted, maybe. Oh, uh, yay. Okay. Hello, Creeper. Time for you to die. Yeah. So how's your lag? Are you, are you able to fight things better now? Oh, no, it hasn't changed at all. Oh, okay. I have to be super cautious when I'm fighting. Yeah. I did some recordings of me fighting Enderman. Oh, there is another one who wants to die. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when I get close to the mob, I just sort of have to spam the sword, hoping that one, mm -hmm. one hit will do something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, get to my gun powder from that, that's good. Put that away. Yeah, this is a. I, I, I just got a silly webcam mic, and all this mm -hmm. music and stuff's coming out through my regular speakers. So, this is a. This is just sort of a test to see how bad that is. Uh, I really need to get, like, uh, headphones and mics set up on this PC, because it's set up on the Mac. Mm. And I need it there. And either I get myself <laughs> another exact mic for the PC, because when I was swapping it using a USB switcher, it, yeah, it just didn't work. Uh, it would it would constantly sort of break. Um, so either I get another one of those because they're so good. Mhm. Mm Is that the one that's in your picture on Skype? Yeah. <laughs> uh, and but I, I feel sort of gluttonous doing that. You know what I mean? That does seem weird that the hardware can't go from one. The the headset hardware can't go from one. I just need a USB switcher. I've got to really crap. Yeah, it does sound like that. As, as soon as I took that out of the equation, even Windows suddenly recognized all the devices hooked up through my monitor. Mm. So it was it was definitely responsible for crashing my computer constantly. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I suspect, suspect that this is probably on their official bug thing, thing that, uh, damn. Yeah. I, yeah, it's, it's just, just not letting me in. That's what I imagine needs to uh, be here to run <laughs> <up> the server. <laughs>
I don't know why this didn't occur to me. Mm. I don't know why this didn't occur to me before, but as I was taking a nap on my couch after watching some Minecraft, for some reason I thought I, I had the felt the need to go and count up how much this configuration of farming would give you. And uh, you know, 9 times 4, say so 6, 72, plus the 8, 80, so 64 and a 16. And um, for whatever reason, it never clued in to me before that this, these lines here, yes, it's more efficient to have them, and you get that extra 16, but without them, you can light the thing, and you get a perfect stack. And uh, yeah, I just thought I'd share that. Well, well, when I go to do the rest of my farms, that's the way I'm going to do it. And it'll, you know, be a pretty nice little pattern on the landscape. So that's also another bonus. I wish that was a bit more predictable. That jumping up and down. I need to make a shovel. I was mining and I didn't have a shovel, and took me forever to get through the gravel. Because when you're mining with gravel, well not for gravel, through gravel, usually it's not very high, so using the torch trick doesn't help very much. Okay, so let's move this torch in. I have to check the numbers again, but it's 14 there, 13, 12, 11, 10. The light is 10, and I think 10 is all you... Oh, wait. Look at this other torch here. Well, I can conduct more experiments later. I just want to see if this covered off all the light that I need enough. But yeah, this is the pattern that I'm going to use for all my crops, uh, which are probably out over there or somewhere out over there. I'm not entirely sure exactly which direction yet. If I do it out over there, then at least to be away from the animals. And it'll be near the villages, so I can sort of pretend that they actually do something for a change, which they don't. They're lazy and do nothing whatsoever at all. I think I can breed these guys again. You. No, they don't want to do it. Hmm. So, plans. Things have changed a little bit since I talked on one of these. This is now the smelting room. I'm going to build this up to be wall height so that it actually feels like a square room with two exits leading off. And from the external exterior, it will still be a hexagon. This will be my brewing room. We've got one brewing stand so far. We're going to have these chests everywhere. This, I don't know yet what this is going to be. I might put the nether ward out here. And this is my enchanting room, and these are the signs from Dusky. And behind the enchanting room is the anvil. I did have a thought about putting a whole bunch more. See, like if I go bam bam, then I've got two sides thing. Over here, if I go bam, 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 I have another one here, then I've got three sides, and then over here I can stick another one right here, and it'll be one side. Uh, and then, yeah, I could I could even move this over to here and put a third one back far enough that there's a zero. Ooh, black. Um, but I don't, <laughs> I don't really need that many enchanting tables yet. So, since this is such a gateway to the different animal areas, I thought I would pretend that there was some use to these hoists. And so I put little rungs along there. We've got a hoist to the outside world here. And the original hoist over here to the inside walled area, like so. And I still have this over look here. So I'm getting more of the land tamed, and uh, I think all of this is new as well. So let's go have a look at that. I 
Oh, I'm not even sure I ever showed off the downstairs, so we'll do that as well. So uh, I redid all these walls to actually be cobble, since this is a cellar area underground with these uh, stone fences. And that, I think it gives it, you know, this was the sort of look I was going for originally. I just never finished it before. And uh, now there's a new staircase here. And this section uh, I built with Dusky. Dusky came over and helped. This is going to be my storage room. This is using trap chests in the middle here so that we can have chests side by side, uh, which is always good looking, which is why they face each other. It's uh, something that not a lot of people seem to know about trap chests is that they face in the opposite direction as regular chests. So naturally I can go up as well, uh, and I'm just using general grouping. So this is anything stone related, anything wood related. Down the back here I have redstone. And, uh, and that will make it a much simpler, and I can still be kind of chaotic with my, with my storage. No way I don't have to really focus too heavily on how I'm organizing things, where things go. Uh, I still need to put a roof on this. But yeah, this is the new hallway with three windows looking out over what's going to be a gardened area. I'm going to put some ornaments and some water and ponds and things in there. Uh, going to make it nice. And here is a tower that is almost done. Nice dirt tower. And this is going to be a bridge across to there where the keep will continue and I'll have my living quarters. And this is what I was talking about with potential farms. If we come out over here and take a look, you see we have over there we should be able to see the village. Let's just go a little bit closer so it loads in. Uh, I hate villages. Oh, a load already. Hey there. F3 changes the depth of field. Look at that. Cool. Should be back on fire. Right, so there's the village. There's all of this open area here. I'm looking for him past a bunch of and also, if I haven't disoriented myself completely, yeah, under there is a skeletal spot. So, if I cultivate this area as farming of all kinds and all things, just sort of out and maybe fenced off with some lighting, uh, then I will have uh, my home at the top here, my bedroom I should say, with a decent view normally. Good, good work for apps, there we go. This view of the rest of the keep, village, and the farms. And that's the general direction I'm heading with this. So this will be a, you know, a safe bridge. This is my anti-mob trap. Oh, I just got caught in it. I just got caught in my own trap. Basically, simple anti-mob trap. Since they don't jump, they can't make that jump. So, nice and safe. So I don't entirely know what I'm going to do with this tower, uh, but it's going to go one floor higher than that to give it proper uh, proper ratios so that it looks right as part of the building. And we've got these sort of little skylight holes in the roof here to put a little bit of light in that, that isn't real light. It's, it's light that doesn't give you light. And uh, I also lowered all of these lights here so that this room would actually be properly lit up uh, I'm paying attention to the lighting because, you know, there's always a creeper or something appearing over here, which is very annoying. But uh, that's the uh, that's the update so far. Uh, lots to do still, lots of roofs to make. Um, maybe I should also consider giving a gift back to Dusky because he's such a nice guy. But don't tell him that. No, you know what, tell him. I don't care. But yeah, so this this won't be here forever. The chickens will probably will, I, but I might make them give them a full area. Sheep out there, pigs I don't care about. Horses, on the other hand, that's where things start getting a little bit more interesting. If I have horses, I don't know where I want to put the stables. I have to think about it because I certainly don't care about pigs. And I get, like, I've got 47 meat now, you know, and going through here and bringing these guys and culling them off is pretty easy now that I've got the numbers up. 
Is that a sheep? Hey. I was wondering where you went. I guess you wandered in on your own. I'll, I'll get him over there at some point. Yeah, so I moved on from using potatoes for food, and now I'm using steak. And so this is a big step. I am no one near as developed as anybody else on this server the, with the whole squire system or whatever they want to call it. Uh, if, uh, and uh, a lot of other people have been playing a lot more than me as well, so uh, I'm pretty behind. But I'm also I don't mind playing sedate. You know, I'm I'm enjoying taking my time. Oh, we have a spider come visit us. Like so. I'm trying to get level 30 so that I can... <laughs> with my armor, oh boy. Yeah, I need pants. I need diamond pants. So the rest of the server went and killed Glidia, the uh, ender dragon. And I have my own portal to it, which I'm going to hook up to the end. Because an ender ender is something I built in the last world, and it takes a lot of work. So it's a, uh, a group project for sure. I did it pretty much by myself last time with a little bit of help doing the flooring. And um, yeah, it's, it's very resource intensive, but the rewards are huge. You get XP uh, up to wazoo. So it's definitely worth making it. You like my floor, by the way? It's just a, a random sort of 70s montage collage floor majiga. No pattern is the pattern. That was the intention. Dusky was sort of watching me put this down and he goes, I don't understand how how this flow works. And I said, it's easy. Can't you see? <laughs> uh, I did do some caving. Let's go look at some of the spoils. I'm now up to 40 diamonds, which will go down a bit because I'm building up my armor. But I, and I also do need to fix up some tools. I also found an abandoned mine shaft pretty much directly below this place, which is really nice. Heaps more iron, and I would think. Did you know that if you have a an item frame with an anvil in it, that you can still put a torch on it? It looks really good, like a, a konsk. I think that's how you pronounce it. Basically, the, you know, the torch is being held by something metal on the wall. Looks really good. Anyway, it's a huge waste of iron, so I'm going to have to use them sparingly. But in places where I can't figure out how I want to light. Lighting in Minecraft. It was one of the first things I modded when I was running the server. Was I reduced the spawn light down to one instead of seven. So that's the light on the ground. You know, if we look here, BL there is nine. Uh, and that number is at my head, so it's eight here on the ground. Which means nothing can spawn there. Um, right here, technically, a mob could spawn. So that's a seven. Uh, although no actually and this is this is where lighting gets really stupid so if we count the light coming up from here it moves along the floor oh. uh, which means the floor is not actually seven it's actually nine the lights coming along the floor and then it comes up to my head All right but when you look at torches that are say say there was a torch here right then the light comes along through the, the thing and then goes down so then you subtract one at your feet Okay, so nothing can spawn here. This is technically level 9. You have to be so careful with the lighting in this game, which is why when I modded it, I made it light level 1. And that meant anywhere that you haven't even attempted to civilize, you would get mobs. Uh, even the, the minuscule amount of light that you would normally put anywhere would be enough to keep most mobs away. And I felt that this was a really good change to the game. Um, so when we do get our mod API, and that's looking like it's getting closer and closer now with the new dev launcher, I'll be proposing that to the group again. The, the various changes I'd made to the, to the last server, we'll see which ones people want to bring back. And, of course, look at doing new ones as well. But that's it for now. Uh, just a bit of a chat about my future plans for this place. And uh, now I'm going to go watch Doctor Who. So I read on the forums that there's an XP exploit where if you have a stack of 64 in your hotbar and you furnace one item of that same thing, let's try this, and when you go to get it out, 
if you press number one to put it into slot one, that it would try and put it there, of course, fail, but give you 64 times the experience. So we're going to do it without that to begin with. We're level 14 here with 200 bit. Okay, so that gave us basically one bar. Now let's try it. Let's try this exploit out and see if it's for real. Uh, okay, let's go to those. This will be interesting. So it should just give me like right up to the edge of level 15. And unless the exploit works, in which case it should be somewhere into 15. Okay, here we go. Whoa. Okay, I'm back. This time I've smelted 8 ore. We're going to see if this scales. So it gave me a level and a quarter last time. So if it gives me you know, about a level this time, then it doesn't scale. If it gives me more than that, it, it scales. That was basically the same amount, so I would say that that doesn't scale. Interesting. So, the best way to use this exploit is to, I guess, pull it out one at a time as it's, as it's cooking. Um, maybe you can go back and forth between two different smelters and you get like speed very quickly. People don't do this. This will be patched soon. Jeb, Dinnerbone, etc. They, they know about it. I was curious to see if it really worked. You know, I, I read it on a forum and it just sounded a little bit too good to be true. There you go, 64 times XP. Ha! There you go, level 30. If I had a stack of gold to smelt, I think you'd get more XP from gold. So it would be, it would be even better. But, um, this is kind of the equivalent of killing an ender dragon, you know, time investment wise. You could, uh, Definitely spread this out over more furnaces. I'm kind of wasting XP here going over level 30, but we'll see. We'll see. Oh, there were two there. What was I, what was I thinking? <laughs> As we've discovered, having pulling two out at the same time, this doesn't give you 128 XP times. I think it gives you 64, so it's not worth doing that. You want to pull out one at a time. You know, as much as, as an exploit as this is, mob grinders and quartz hunting, <laughs> they're pretty good too, but this has pretty much zero risk. You know, once you've gone and, and collected up this, this iron ore, just standing here and... <laughs> yeah, this is, <laughs> this is pretty, this is pretty bad, uh, like, exploit-wise. I, I would, I would say that this is, this is too much. Um, I feel kind of dirty doing this, but I'm doing it for the video. I'm just, just dem. Yeah, that's what I. It's true. I'm just demonstrating <laughs> and getting a lot of XP in the process, which I will be spending. <laughs> oh dear. You know, it's in the game. That's that's always a good excuse, right? <laughs> Level forty. Yeah, this is the fastest I've ever gotten to. Level 40 because of the exponential growth. Um, so this, yes, this exploit confirmed.